My five-year-old English bulldog is very reactive to the door and me leaving the house. I'm working with a trainer, but they're talking about using a TENS collar. Is this a shock collar? I'm just going to do a little bit of research on Google here. You know what? That is a renaming of an electric shock collar to make it seem like it's not an electric shock collar and it's something that is benign and okay to use on your dog. So, you know, um, you might see these electric shock collars renamed as correction collars, as TENS collars, as anything but an electric shock device, which is what the damn things are. And please don't ever use them on your anxious reactive dogs. I have seen uh, a number of um, animals that have been made a lot, lot worse um, because of these shock collars being used on the animals. So um, absolutely, if you get any trainer that wants to put a collar on your dog that has the two little shiny metal electrodes that press into the skin and then zap your dog with this electric current that is uncomfortable, painful, and makes things worse. Um, you might seem to get results in terms of suppression of the anxious behavior, but you're gonna cause mental emotional trauma and harm to your animal using these collars. Please do not use them. I have not come across them being called a TENS collar before. Now the TENS device is a device that's used for humans for pain relief, which is an electric stimulation, but there's a, there's a very different thing that you can talk to the human, you can say, okay, we'll turn it up, is that okay? Uh, is, that, is that level good? Uh, and the person can say, oh, that's too much, stop, your dog can't. And um, honestly, they're, they're just dreadful, dreadful things, shock collars, please don't use them. Did you know that including certain herbs in your dog's diet can help improve their overall health and happiness? One such herb is ashwagandha. So what exactly is ashwagandha and how can it benefit your pets? Find out the answers in this next video.